So today we're going to talk about LR and Broly and we're going to go and just gonna read his entire kit before I go ahead and uh, talk about like what exactly he really is going to be meant to be used for, right? And uh, what I'm seeing with this card, I think he's like, he's primarily like a utility based card just from a second reading before I went ahead and started recording. So his leader skill is uncontrollable power revenge or planetary destruction three key and one 70 percent across the board and his 30 percent stats is two movie bosses transformation boost or pure saiyans his 12 key that being the savage blaster he gets 100 percent attack and defense one turn with a 50 percent chance of getting an additional 30 percent defense for one turn while doing colossal damage and having a 50 percent chance to stun so stun chance as well as 100 percent attack and defense one turn and him getting a chance to further raise his defense by 30 percent for one turn nice and his 18 key 100% attack and defense one turn, of course, his 18 key name is Gigantic Driver. 100% attack and defense one turn with him having a 50% chance of uh, getting 100% additional attack for one turn. And uh, while him doing Meg Colossal Damage Enemy with a 70% chance of stun. So he has stun chances as well as uh, the same type of attack and defensive raise for one turn from both his 12 and 18 key super tactics that being 100 percent attack and defense one turn and they kept it similar to where he has a chance of getting more defense one turn on his 12 key as well as him getting an additional attack buff that being a chance on his uh, 18 key so i would say good super tactics if it procs it procs for additional defense that is nice for him it will help him out and the same for the attack just to do a bit of more extra damage to the enemy i would say solid 12 and 18 key super tactics as a whole and his passive, he activates his interest animation upon entry, of course, once only, and he gives extreme class allies 40% defense for four turns from the character's entry turn. So he's giving defense for four turns. So nice. He's that definitely could help out considering the fact that he's giving an uncontrollable power category allies 60% attack and defense, of course, after this character's revival skills activated. Uh, or the character's revival skills activated. He starts out with 260% attack and defense and gets additional 60% damage reduction just baseline, or not additional, just 60% damage reduction just outright. And he gets 100% attack when just attacking. Uh, I mean, they could they could just slapped on 100% attack and defense, but hey, whatever. And he gets an additional two key and 2% HP per type key sphere obtained. Okay. And while the domain is up, he randomly changes key series of a certain type to str excluding int and str uh and he also guards and he's effective against all types when he performs an attack while his domain is up and he also gets his revival starting from the fifth turn from character's entry turn that being based where he can get 60 percent hp from his revival from him or an ally and he also gets 60 percent defense after receiving an attack, if this character or an ally's revival skills activated, so nice, he gets an additional 60% defense on the top of uh, his, uh, of course, additional 60% HP that recovers post revival, as well or for uh, character revives. <laughs> and uh, he also changes physical key spheres to int and uh, uncontrollable power category allies 60% attack and defense at start of character's attacking turn, starting from the turn in which this character's revival skill is activated okay so a couple things this guy has uh, two types of orb changing inside of his kit yeah he's able to recover two percent hp per type keys you're obtained so if this guy is grabbing up a bunch of str keys here, he's going to be recovering globs of health and after which his domain does wear off he's able to get the revival out right and granted, he does get his revival out. He's he's able to give monstrous support to uncontrollable power characters, that being 60% attack and defense. Um, so this card is definitely giving a lot of utility. Absolutely. And also creating a bunch of words. And I I do like that Dokkan kept it consistent with him being able to recover HP per type piece you're obtained, with him being able to orb change within his domain. As well as him being able to orb change outside of his domain, provided his revival skill is activated. Uh, so support here, uncontrollable power, 60% attack and defense. Support here within the first four turns of 40% defense to extreme class allies. Uh, technically, could you count the revival of him giving 60% HP just for free uh, from his revival, as well as 2% uh, HP 
per type user obtained. He's healing in two different types of ways. He's also supporting in two other types of ways, that being from his interest animation buff as well as his post revival buff of giving 60% attack and defense to uncontrollable power. Um, he's super utility based. And on the defensive end, within his domain, he's gonna have guard with 60% damage reduction. So he's gonna be looking pretty nice within his domain. And granted, outside of his domain, he's gonna just have that 60% damage reduction, which should be enough for this guy. So his active skill, Earth Crushing Arm, he mass raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy, and crazy domain for three turns. And your activation condition, you have to face a Goku's family category enemy, or when all allies attack in the same turn are uncontrollable power category characters. So you really, really want to run uncontrollable power category characters. Now, looking at this category, it's not all that crazy. Outside of you uh, having to run, of course, I mean, because you really want to, you have the, the new uh, Carnival LR Broly, as well as Tech Broly's EZA. Of course, you're running this Broly as a leader. Um, you could go ahead and throw a Super Broly in. If for whatever reason, you don't have Tech LR Broly, even though he's a bit old. But if you don't have him, you could throw this guy in place of him. Um, You could run Int Broly if you don't have, uh, I guess, hmm. I mean, you, you should have this guy, though. No, he is old also. Yeah. But all in all, this category is not that crazy. Yeah, you have a few good options. Outside of the Brolies, you have like Haruta Goat, you have Int Boo, you have Exchange Boo, you have... I mean, you can't... Could you run this guy? You could probably get away with running this guy, but he really wants Majin Power characters, no? Um, yeah, I'm not too big on this category. Not too big on this category. Because it is certainly carried by all of its top-heavy slash good easy aid units. Like, it's like you just have like Int Broly. I... I, have, I don't know. I don't know how to feel too much about him, Broly. He's gotten to be killed so many times. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. All right, so his domain. He gives uncontrollable power category enemies and allies 15% attack and defense, so further more support within the domain. And he increases damage received by superclass enemies and allies by 15%, and plus an additional 10% for characters who belong to the movie heroes category. It makes sense because, of course, you know, Broly. And his link set is same warrior race. Prepare for battle, shock, and speed, Super Saiyan, Berserker, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. I wish these Z Broly units just had big bad bosses. Is this guy not a big bad boss? Is he not? Um, and of course, his categories, Resurrected Warriors, Movie Bosses, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Transmission Boost, Target Goku, Exploding Rage, Revenge, Inhuman Deeds, Powerful Comeback, Planetary Destruction, Legendary Existence, Power Beyond Super Saiyan, and Uncontrollable Power. And this card is on a total of... What's that about? Like, yeah, 10. And his best linking partner would easily be the uh, new uh, Carnival LR Broly. So let's take LR Broly, uh, the uh, LR Dragon Ball Super Broly. And he most certainly helps this guy out. He helps this guy out a ton. For sure. But yeah, I think that is really about it. I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. And you guys know how he performs in this meta. Come on now. <laughs> But these newer cards, is it worth even talking about how they perform? Well, it does. It does. He's good. Shh. Peace.